to is it working yet? Is it working yet? Is it working yet? Do that. Wait. Starts over again. Bring in the box. Hi mm -hmm. I think I think it's working, so I'm just gonna go ahead. This is how to pronounce that Yggdrasil, I believe, like Yggdrasil, Norse divination divination cards. I'm not even gonna try the name, but I think it's a father daughter combo. I'm not sure why. She only gets a G dot. I guess it doesn't fit. Although I saw the whole name somewhere. It looks like Goonhilda or something. This is by Llewellyn. And anytime you see a dent, you can tell that I got it from Amazon. I think that's something that they feel they have to do. But that's okay since I'm not into boxes. But here are the cards. I think there are 88 of these. Is that right? Where did I see that? Here we go. 81. Hmm. Seems like more. 81 cards. 216 page guidebook. Well, we'll look at all this later. Uh, first, this time, I'm going to remember to do it. Let me switch windows so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, I'm still on the candles. I don't want to be on that. I want to show the thumbnail with a doodle beside it. Uh, that's not the cover of the book. <laughs> the part to the left that says Bifrost or Bifrost on it, however you pronounce it. But that is the cover of the box. I think that's Odin. That's Hell over there. And then I tried to redraw Hell there to the right. It's a little off. I guess my Hell's a bit more hellish. I'm not sure. But I can show that, that stuff later. Let me click out of here. Back to the cards. And, well, I thought I was back to the cards. And as other people have complained, I suppose you might say, is the cards, there is no order exactly. And then they're very difficult to look up in the book. I remember reading this book, but it just doesn't connect with me yet. I'll say it that way. Not into runes. I'm not Norse. I might be Neanderthal, but I'm not Norse. Freya, I recognize that lady. But I don't know. For some reason, it didn't connect. I'm pretty sure I've met her a few times based on this little description they have here. She is an unyielding ruler, and once she has you in her domain, it's as good as impossible to exit again. Yep, pretty sure we've met. Here, here is that card. And that's me running away from her. Now that's a tarot, typical tarot card. So these are much wider, much taller. I have no idea what's going on with this dot in the corners. There's a dot. I don't get it. It's on all of them. So you got some sort of symbol, which you have to look in the book to understand, or I do. It says, Hell, ruler of fears. Yep, that's about right. Usually when you see her, a lot of times she'll look like uh, Two-Face in Batman, where she, <laughs> where she has one side's kind of normal and the other side's missing skin or whatever. But this one isn't so bad. It looks just like custard or something, maybe. There's the back. Which is interesting. I'm trying to see if it's reversible. I guess it is. It's too much going on to figure it out. But I'm sh pretty sure I've met these two here. I don't remember the story for this Skydy or Skyda, the lady riding the bear. And who wouldn't want to meet Gerd? Except Gerd sounds like gird your loins or some sort something to do with yogurt but anyway there are the cards you can't say much about the order 
I do like that they're, well, I pick her up again. I put her down upside down. I do like that they're, there's a lot of cross hatching, you know, a little, lots of little black lines going in certain directions or going opposite each other, all that kind of stuff. So that's probably why I got it was this black and white. So I'll let that go for a little bit, stay out of the way, and then bring in the next ones. Hmm, like a frost giant maybe. I don't think we need the sheet for these. It's all black and white. There's a hint of blue in here. There's not on the cards. They're just black gray and white that blue is from a bulb in the ceiling which usually helps cards but it doesn't seem to help black and white decks hmm don't think i've known a frig nana doesn't look like a nana exactly yes no thank you Here comes the next whatever's, for lack of a better way to say it. Uh-oh. Some of them got moved. Wow. There we go. I'm going to make sure I'm kind of still crooked, but that's okay. I could zoom in, I guess. Let's try that. There we go. That's a little better. Poseidon like. Hmm. See, like that would have caught my eye. That sort of line work, cross hatching, like for the robe or whatever. I'm not sure. I remember the story of the head and the. I think I do, kind of. So there's like, what, three, four, five or six boards of these. So there's quite a few cards. Not sure about that number 81. Feels like more. Hmm. And that one's interesting. Frosty. <laughs> Frosty. Himdal. That sounds about right. Uh, from the movie Thor, even. Those Thors aren't the same as these Thors, but hey. Hmm. Not sure about those two. Not. Definitely not. That's kind of cool looking. For some reason, every time I see that, I think Michael Jackson, but that's not who it is. It's Loki. This is the last board. If you're just hanging around for the cards, it's the last board. There's Thor, which really doesn't look like Thor. See the dragon in there? That may have been another reason I wanted it. Hmm. So I'll let it go for a little bit and then we'll check out Ye Old Llewellyn Box. How is the card stock? Hmm. It's thin. Yep. Very thin. See how it's bent? So yeah, it's very thin. I guess you can't have it all, huh? And I will link to a much better video. I think Kelly, the Truth and Story, did something like two hours. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> At least an hour. I know that much. But it went into a lot more detail, and I'm sure lots of other people have done this. Since there seems to be a lot of people who like runes and Norse. There's a channel where a guy can explain all this stuff until he got popular and I stopped watching. All of a sudden he's getting out of his big new truck with a big new hat and a giant cowboy buckle and is a cowboy hat. 
and music at the start of the opening. I mean, like, gosh, he must be cashing in. But that's the box, Llewellyn, Body, Mind, Spirit, Divination. Divination. Here's the book. For some reason, the book is called Bifrost, Bifrost, or Bifrost, or Byrost. I think I've heard every way it could be pronounced. They try to help you with the, well, his channel would explain this much better. There's different ways of pronouncing older, newer, all that jazz. How many pages is it? It is 208. Why'd they say 216? I guess they're counting the front and the back cover. Or again, once again, no one's paying attention to detail. 216 page guidebook. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't even think you can get to 216 if you count all the unnumbered pages. But anyway, there it is. And I think I saw somebody who went to the trouble of making their own index at the back in alphabetical order, like the name of the card and then what page it's on to make it quicker to look it up. If I say if, it it definitely be necessary for me. So that's what it looks like inside. We can look at hell again because, boy, she does look familiar in your dream. Okay, so that was a quick look at Yggdrasil, Norse divination cards on an angle. So if you were just here for the cards, uh, I'll say peace and thank you for watching and stopping by and all that jazz. So now we're going to switch over to the candles, and I'll be try to be quiet. I keep forgetting to click on the right thing. Here it goes.
Testing, testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Ugh. Okay. I think I'm here. Let me minimize me. Can you see Pythia? I can see the tree, the Pythia, the candles, the me, the box. Okay, I see everything. And hell in a journal. <laughs> she probably doesn't show up very well. At least not with her chrome eyes and her chrome fingernails. Uh, I got to pop out chat because I can't see anything. I should have read it as I went because I'll miss some now. Pop out chat. I could try the new thing. Nah. I'll save that for tomorrow. Okay, make it bigger, 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 bigger. I see somebody new showed up. Soul Shines 8. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. D of Divination. Susan of the Entropy Apothecary. Yvette of the Witch of Willow Creek. Jada, a sim real simple earth Jada. Uh, D of High Priestess Illumination. And Chris of Sacred Keep. And Soul Shines 8. Unless I miss somebody. I still have to make it bigger. I can't see it at all. Here we go. Bigger, bigger, and one more bigger. Wow, that's pretty much too big. I'm sticking with it. Soul Shine 8. So, oops, top chat. Here it goes. This is where I lose the ability to scroll back. Thank you, YouTube. Just like the ABBA song. Uh-oh. See, I've missed a bunch of stuff. Let me just see if I can get back to the top. Hey, I, I can this time. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Hi, D. Witch of Willow Creek made it. Are you actually laughing out loud? Yes, custard. She had a little smudge on the card. But I think it's drawn that way. It's not her fault. That's how she's drawn. <laughs> I think that's from a movie. I had a custard sundae a few days ago from Andy's. It was amazing. Hello, everyone. What is the name of this deck? I didn't catch it. It's Ig Yggdrasil. It's hard to say. You have to watch that guy's channel. I'll link. I can't remember it right now. I hate it when YouTube people that know stuff and they're pretty good suddenly become successful. Is that okay to hate other people's success? I don't think so. Yvette, some call me high. I'm catching up. Janet is ruling school like a boss. Maybe she's doing it wolf style. Divination Yggdrasil is the Instagram. Wow, that's... Chris, did you have a nap? Not today. For some reason, I've been up since like 4 a.m., so I thought I'm not going to make it today. But I have to make it today because you know why? This is the milestone. This was my original idea to do what well, got expanded on, but to do a deck in a live chat for every hour of the day. So everyone on the planet, nope, no, no more tarot shirts. Well, there's a three of wands in the pile, but this is just the moon and a tree and the roots of a tree with the moon phases. I just did a shirt to match each of the 22 majors. I think I've caught up now, right? Am I caught up? Yes. Nobody said anything after that. Either that or it's not working. But it says excellent connection. And that might be the highest number I've had in terms of how it's doing yet. So I'm amazed I made it. So far, 24 days. And pretty much, <laughs> with a few exceptions, pretty much the same group of people. So thank you for hanging in there in this odd experiment in the month of February. Now I have to write your actual channel name so I don't forget. And they're not saying anything, so I can say that. The Witch of Willow Creek. Divination's easy to remember. 
just add Ignatian on the end. Jada, R, S, E. Cuz is easy to remember. Sacred Keep is easy to remember. I actually wrote down five, so I was off today. Some of the other days I was spot on. 24, what, what? Yep, I didn't think I'd make it. One, I didn't think I'd make it because of internet stuff. Because we're not super reliable here. So 24 hours. Everybody's had a chance. No one in the future can say, I couldn't make it to one of your line. Yes, you could have. <laughs> Me saying that doesn't make it so. Because people don't go back and watch older videos. Maybe it's because they can't get at them. I don't know. Or you'd have to put it out every day, reminding. I don't know. But we made it. I'll just say it that way. Besides the candles, the best thing that came out of your experiment has been Jezebel's videos. <laughs> Thank you. Mine are crap, but Jezebel's are pretty good. Yes, she has been quite creative, hasn't she? In my humble... Oh, no, nope, not the word humble. In my opinion. <clears throat> I don't know if she did videos before. Do I even remember that? I don't know. I think she's an artist artist. Like a real one. Not, not a doodle in the journal kind of person. These last few lives have been perfect timing for me. That's great. I'm not sure where in the world you are, Jada. Ocean? Island? I <laughs> just guess an island. Some place I would like to be. Yay. Thank you for the yay. I didn't think I would. And now, and now I don't have to set an alarm clock. Because whenever I feel like doing them, the next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the next five days. She doesn't speak, though, does she? Has she spoken? I guess I'm guilty of not going back and watching people's older videos. I might have to do that. Well, D is light lit candles, and Yvette has one or more candles going. So that's how many of us is it? D, Yvette, me, Jezebel. That's four people. That's pretty good. I didn't hear you, Chris. What did you say? I said I didn't know where in the world you are, Jada. I dozed off. Just woke up in time, so I jumped on here. Well, thank you, Soul Shines. It's nice to have you back. Why do I forget to write your name down? And as everybody knows, of course, Soul Shines is number seven today. But everybody is number one in our hearts. What I also noticed when I bothered to scroll up and down, Florida. I thought it would be ocean. When I bothered to scroll up and down my own videos, since I started this, I can see that people have said, uh, not again, because the views go down by like 30 or 40. <laughs> so, you know, there are varsity members and there's non-varsity members. So, I'm just kidding. I hope I can start catching up with videos from next week's. These last few weeks have been out of norm, and I'm so behind. Yeah, I'm a little behind. I like candles every day as well. Tea lights, but some candles nonetheless. Yep. It's just something I've been doing for a very long time. Could go back to childhood if I wanted to with my grandmother. But I, I do it the first thing every morning. Well, ignoring a couple other things. But I'll light a candle and it goes until uh, I go outside to jog or something. And this this is cheap Walmart candles. You see the you see the burnt out ones here being holding up these spitty candles. This is the kind I forget what they are, three dollars or something at Walmart. They last several weeks. 
even though they're burning for three, two, three hours every morning. It's just, I just like fire. I would like my fireplace, but it does not work very well. I think that counts. Altar fires daily here as well. None of the candle videos do very well, I've noticed. I guess it's kind of a silly idea. You're burning a candle and somebody's going to sit there and watch it. But hey, it's a thought that counts. It's the intent. It's the Aquarian Tarot in a tin smaller card than the original. That's a good question. It is in a tin. Aquarian. I think it's right behind me there. They're like poker size cards. I don't know what the original was. I want to get it, but only if it's smaller. And I figured you would know. The only way I'll know is to get up and get it. But I don't know the original, so that wouldn't help me. What I have is the one that's in a tin from Amazon. So I'm not sure when you say original. It may have been around a lot longer. I only started noticing and wanting cards in early 2017. I'm being lazy and don't want to Google it. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm lazy myself. Sometimes in comments I will say stupid stuff. And they're like, look it up. <clears throat> I'm like, okay, my bad. It is smaller. Same size as the original Sun's borders. Well, now I gotta get up and get it, <sighs> which won't help. Don't get these kind of boxes. <laughs> oh, is that it? No, that's the Barbara Moore. Ouch. Sorry, D, it's in my A. It's there somewhere. Ouch. Now I have to readjust. Yeah, it is. No, um, mm, not MPC. Well, maybe it is. I don't think it is, though. I think it's drive through cards. Me too. Super great for carrying with you every day. Uh, what did she say? I love decks. Yep. I want them all. I want all the decks that are available in tins. I think you can have them make your own tins, but those tins don't turn out as good as... Who's the only one that makes them in tins, practically? U.S. Games? Don't hurt yourself. Too late for that. I banged my knee. And I've got about a hundred and some cards to pick up <coughs> later. Do not get that kind of deck. Get this kind of deck. You can pick these up by the top. The regular Aquarian cards are, wow. Five inches by three inches by, well. No, what I have is in a 10 and smaller. Like poker size. They always say that, but they're a little off. Sometimes they're... And in the tin there, yeah, that's about poker size. Thanks, Amazon. <laughs> yes. Amazon, the true source for tarot. If you want your stuff dented, you can buy tins and window tins online. Hmm. Like Etsy or something. I do have some tins from Make Playing Cards. Somebody's runes, rune cards, dice cards, which is a stupid thing to buy. I just have dice. 
Ooh, I didn't know that, Susan. Yep, you can buy. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you can buy anything you want. Oh, it's on Amazon. I was going to say Etsy. I watched somebody today make a box, <laughs> make a new card box. MB do have tins to personalize. Yep. It looks complicated, I thought. Because for the granny tarot, I was going to make a box. And then I was like, wow. Got to get the art going this way, and then the art going that way, and then the art going that way. I'll just get one of those with the see-through opening window thing. They have a large selection of boxes. Unfortunately, they're really far from here, which makes everything take a long time. I want to set a tarot dice. I never found them on Amazon and not in a while on eBay. The tarot dice that I got, like six sets of, was on Amazon. I've seen them on a few other channels that have tarot dice. Some people don't like them because you're restricting. I mean, once you roll one die, it's got six sides. So you, you count one of them. You've eliminated five other cards as well. Five other, yeah. Five other images that can't come up. Because you've only got a pack of whatever it is. Six or seven. Eight. I saw yours with a board, I think. There is like a... <laughs> there's like a handy dandy dinner placemat that comes with it. It has a wizard looking image on it. Yeah. I kind of like them. Those are really well made dice. Or die... They're heavy. I don't know what they're made out of. Something petroleum, probably. I haven't seen them in about a month, even longer. Hmm. Maybe they sold out. It's one of those rare things that gets shipped to you in a tube. It's in a plastic tube with the, the dinner placemat thing rolled up inside. But some people don't think they're random enough. So my solution was that, to have more than one set of them. I guess you could use them as, what, clarifiers? Oh, I didn't finish my thought. I watched somebody today make a video where they repaired a box, an old box that was breaking down, but they used a, a cereal box, like they recycled a cereal box, because cereal boxes, some of them, are thicker than others. That kind of worked. It looked okay. If you're into crafty-like stuff and have sharp knives and glue and... Yeah, I remember you recording outside. If you find that link, please let me know. Oh, to Amazon? Let's just go see when I bought them and it'll link me back to whatever. Just type dice. A little hard to read over here. There it is. If I click on it. Currently unavailable. Uh-oh. Bummer. We don't know when or if this item will be back in stock. Sorry, Jada. Let me try the other one. And the other one. And the other one. Because sometimes they're not the same company. Nope, they're all the same company. You're right. They're out of stock. I mean, currently unavailable. Bummer. These things happen. Usually they're with some of the things that I think I want. But until I look on Amazon, I don't want them. Because they're not available. Or they're from somebody named Chris's Bargains. 
The guy's not a bargain at all. It's like $600 for what? I think a bunch of people got knocked off or they just got quiet. So this might be the lowest day yet. I think there was another day that was pretty low. Let's look back in the history of February. 10, 9, 10, 13. That was a good day. 13. That was a good day. 13. 10. Vimy. I remember Vimy. 11, 8, there's a low one, 8, 12, 7, there's a low one, 7, so we've already matched. Where's the lowest of all time? 7, 10, 8, there was a day, 6, Sunday, February 2nd, 1 a.m., it's only 6 people, and 2 of those are in the same house, <laughs> so really, it's like 5 people. I never thought that... Tarot dice would be out of print. Oh, D's still here. Sacred keeps waving. That means she's still here. I forget who did the cereal box. Mm. I can't remember. That's after pruning my subscriptions down again. It's a lot of pruning that goes on. What's with this candle? What, what's the deal? Are you made badly? You're awful wobbly. I'm going to move somebody I trust in and move you over. You're still wobbly. I'm still here just getting dinner. What are you having for dinner? We always get the food somehow. One additional hit is here just sleeping. Well, welcome, sleepy person. I am kind of tired, so I will be lacking in anything near conversation. I would have thought it would have been some of the others that would have been tough, but this one's tough. And tomorrow I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. It's a free-for-all. Oh. This came today. I can do that. I can talk about that. I haven't looked at it yet. It's very thin, but it has a really nice edge. Wish they all had edges like that and colors you could decide. The Manuscript of Initiations Tarot. Etsy, I think. $20, $22, 20-something dollars. But it's very thin paper, very thin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It won't stand up. I have made tuck boxes out of Llewellyn boxes in the past. That might work. I'm not sure what cereal she was using, but that was very thick paper. Yes, a long day for you, Chris. You should have had a nap. I, it wasn't for lack of trying. I sat there on the bed, watched some detective thing, which usually puts me to sleep. Oh, look, somebody's going to get the bad end of something. But it didn't work today. It worked yesterday. But now I've made it 24 hours. In 24 days. But we'll see how it goes the rest of the week. Bakery box cardboard is good too. You know, I guess that's too thick. You couldn't really take your Amazon boxes and repurpose them to me. Plus, I don't have that issue because I take almost all the boxes away. I have just received a Victorian tarot by Taroko Studio. Gorgeous black and white. Ah, I might have to look at that. Wait, I have that. Yes, you do. I think you do. Go look. I'm going to go look. Hold on. Since I'm also keeping this list of decks up to date, I'm amazed I even do that. 
T O R I A N. Yep, Victorian Tarot. Deck number 33. Is it black and white? Watch your own video. Yep, it sure is. Yeah, I like that one. That was a long time ago. No, it wasn't. Yep, two years. More than two years. Wow. That's crazy. I'm not a black and white person, but one day, one might grab me. <laughs> That's her first black and white. Wow. I'm pretty sure you have an amazing collection. It's of original prints. Hmm. I don't remember its backstory. I just know it's over there because that box was okay. So some boxes slip through and end up in a tower. Tarot tower, Oracle tower. Behind me is all tarot decks and bigger boxes. I think they know this already. <clears throat> well, just in case they don't. I got it from my Facebook group. Ugh, Facebook, run away, run away. Can't do Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitch. Hey, Florida Oros made it and pushed us past, pushed us to number eight. How are you, Floor? You're number eight in the order, but number one in our hearts. Since you weren't here before, I'll say it again. How are you today? How are things? I made it into the journal. Yeah, <laughs> yes. This is my daily journal. I have to flip this way and back again to put something in. Chris, do you have the Victorian Regina, also monochrome? Mm, I have nothing with the word Regina in it. Which sounds like queen, but... Yesterday I saw a tiny little teapot tea light burner in a shop and thought of you. A tiny little teapot, tea light burner. Wow, that's a lot of tea words right there all together. Everybody says hi to Floor. Great. I hit the like button. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Floor. That would be cute. Are you attracted to cute items, Sacred Keep? Chris? I guess so. I remember those dolls with the Einstein hair. Hi, Fleur and Chris of Sacred Keep. I'm just saying Fleur because I don't have a, another name. <clears throat> and she made something that looks like a skull on a stick from over here. That's very nice because it's a skull on a stick. Or is it a microphone? Or is it a rattle? It's a baby rattle. I just keep guessing. Because I can't tell what it is. Could be a lollipop. Well, a skull lollipop. They don't make those. They might. Microphone. I think it's a microphone, isn't it? Ooh, I collect lots of things for my readings. Yes, I see lots of things in the background in both. Aren't there two places you do them? One place you show cards, one place you do readings. I think there's two of them. Einstein was a real piece of work. <laughs> she is ready for karaoke. Oh, guys, no, no. How embarrassing is karaoke? Just saying. It's probably more fun in Japan. You don't even know if they do karaoke in Japan. No, I don't. But it seems like any country where you don't speak the language and they don't speak your language, that would be much easier to do. Skull on a stick. Love that. It's a microphone. Oh. Well, in here it looks like a skull on a stick. Like your, what was his name? Papa Doc? 
I, sh I guess I shouldn't say that name. He's a bad guy. Or you're at Carnival. Isn't Carnival going on somewhere, Rio, right now? Which means I should have moved up the Tarot Carnival till till Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm going to leave it where it is. Tomorrow is the other Kin Tarot, followed by the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, followed by 78 Tarot Carnival. I think it's Carnival. Followed by the Fairy Oracle, followed by the Five Cent Tarot. I can read them all off now because there's only a few left. Yes. And then we take the next six months off. <laughs> no, no, we don't. I have skulls on sticks on my backfield. What's a backfield? Trying to get a sense of that Paul and... Hey, Paul wasn't here. Keep the ghosts well behaved. Does that work? I would think you would have more ghosts because you have skulls on a stick. There are some crystal, uh, they're not crystals, rock skulls over there. Plus I had that skull candle, which was really just a hot sauce bottle. I have, somewhere I have a true crystal skull. It's not done very well. Just backed five cents second edition on Kickstarter. Hmm. What's different in the second edition? Paul is sleeping. He is here. I can't write him down if he doesn't type anything. Just grab his paw. <laughs> his paw. Just grab his paw and mash it into the keyboard. Lead by example, hence skulls on sticks. Hmm. I think you're call, calling them into your place. Oh, you want them there, but you want them behaved. I get it. <laughs> no, you don't. I thought I got it for a second there. Is all the candles going? I'm really concerned about burnouts. I see that one in the front is going to make it, and then I have to replace it tomorrow. Just when it was getting interesting. It's got this like two inch tall blob of wax, ow, blob of wax hanging off. I can't come up with any better designs for how to do them. Seven horseshoe, seven horseshoe, seven horseshoe, two, and the one in front. That is seven, right? Yeah, we're at day 24. Yep, three rows of seven. Uh... I want the right ones. They're a right they're a right ghost as opposed to See even my eyes are wonky today. I can't really I can't see even the big print over there. Let me put these on and see if that corrects it. Hell is looking a little spooky here on the page. Aren't you? You're drawn poorly. It's my fault completely. I tried. I'm going to put you... No troublemakers. What would be a troublemaker in a ghost form? Something that scared you? I guess in the remaining eight minutes, I could ask if anybody's read these books that are behind me. Not that I'm advertising for them, but do you still have your little heater on? Those candles are making enough fire for a camp out. You would think they would, right? These two seem to. Maybe that's the wood thing. But these others, I mean, I can put my hand there and keep it there. Now, the, the hair right there just kind of curled around because it got burnt. But they're not really that hot. But these two are. I can't stay there very long. Because it's got this point thing with like 
fins like it's six sided or something. So the wood stick in the middle gets kind of hot. The others, not really, but they don't last very long. But hey, 50 cents. Not long to go, Chris. Then you can go and get some sleep. I think what I want is some water and an orange. But that's probably not a good idea at midnight, huh? Yeah, the little heater is right there because it's cold here. It wasn't bad yesterday, but today got cold and supposedly a huge multiple days of cold is coming. But they never get our area right anyway. Cheese balls. Yes, there are, che there are cheese balls in there, but I can't. Turkey balls, no. <laughs> Mess that message was held for review. Apparently you can type cheese balls, but you can't type turkey balls. YouTube, really? I would like to I would like to interview some of their programmers. It's like what are you what are you doing? What's why, how did you get turkey balls to be a bad phrase? How old are they? Maybe that's the issue. It has poured rain here all day. It just started raining. So tomorrow might be a bright and early repeat of what you're just seeing now. Since I can do them whenever I want to. Of course, I could do that before. And when did I tend to do them? Starting at 4 p.m. on Friday. Which I don't think works for a lot of people. Uh-oh. Chris of Sacred Keep type. Typed a bunch of four worms with crowns from over here. Or faucets. It could be faucets based on her typing poured rain. D, you're making me hungry. My dinner is still heating. Heating. What are you having? Don't tell me. This is a divination thing. I got this. You're having some sort of casserole. It has spinach in it, some cheese, uh, possibly rabbit. And here comes our usual food. <laughs> what are you making? Yes, just can't resist food. At least we're steering clear of some of the longer chat usual topics, such as Aquaman. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, popcorn. That's a good idea. Now I can do popcorn because I know precisely exactly how long that'll take to make. An omelet would be nice. That reminds me of the old military days. Midnight chow was the best thing ever. Some movie theater popcorn would be amazing. I just have that 100 calorie bag Orville Redenbacher Butter. I think that's all it says on it. But butter. Who the heck is Orville Redenbacher? And why has he got his face smeared all over boxes of popcorn? It's even on the bag, I think. D, I'm having chicken and roast vegetable. See, I was spot on for once. But it's reheated. I mean rabbit, chicken... Roast vegetables, spinach, still spot on. You're never spot on. I go out of my way not to be spot on. Oh, I'm still wanting that pad tie. Hey. These folks do like food. What time is it there, Chris? It is six minutes till midnight, Jada. What time is it there? It should be six minutes to midnight. Unless you're at the tippy tip of Florida or something. Microwave popcorn isn't food. What is it? It pops like food. It tastes like popcorn. It doesn't taste like it used to, but today was National Tortilla Chip Day. The very last thing I could have is a tortilla chip. I could have some of the things you stick it into, but not... Who mentioned Jason? <laughs> Nobody mentioned Jason. 
You mean the Jason with the long machete? Is that the Jason? That's the Jason you're referring to, right? I can't eat the chips. They have salt, sadly. Oh. I had to go back to having some salt. Yes, Chris, that's your 200% stubbornness. Wait. Wrong shirt. I can't look at what I am. It had me lower. I think I'm higher on stubbornness. I think I'm higher on adventurous, adventurous than I am, than I was, than what it said. It's not good for humans, microwave popcorn. Well, this human has it occasionally. Tastes like food. Damn, I've been fooled again. <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't take much soul signs. You go into the grocery store and they got all these foolies lined up in nice little aisles. What did I hear? Now, Jason from the horror movie. That's the wrong Jason. Unless he's done a horror movie. Maybe he did a horror movie. Maybe Aquaman was a horror movie. Poor Jason. Got all these women drooling after him. It must be an awful life. You did Aquaman. <laughs> well, a few other things that come up in longer live chats hasn't come up. And that's good. Almost there. Guess what? A family member gave me Aquaman DVD. Did you watch it? Secretly, you prefer Manta. The other Jason. Yeah, the other Jason, all I see is a mask in my head and a long knife. But I'm not a horror fan, so I don't know much about these things. DVD. Hmm. I haven't bought a DVD in a long time. It's too easy to stream. But then again, you know, if the internet went down, you'd be machete. Yes, I think that's what he has. And a mask. But I only knew that from commercials. Have you seen Jason's commercial? What's he selling? Have you ever wanted your muscles to have muscles and some of those muscles to have other muscles? Well, I can show you how. Wake up at 3 a.m. and pump iron until you can't pump any more iron. Then you eat a protein shake. Not yet, but it'll go on loop when I do. <laughs> hockey. Ah, yes, hockey mask. Thank you. People should not eat diacetyl. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's in my popcorn. That commercial was shocking. Well, I think it's safe to say that if we are not teens having sex at camp, so <laughs> we should be safe. <laughs> What's that noise? Let's walk towards it. Okay. Yes, he's still cute. He's got to be aging. I wasn't lucky enough to go to camp. The horror had to come to us. Bing bong. That's it. I'm fixing popcorn. <laughs> Diacetyl and pesticides. GMO corn. It's very bad. Not with butter on it. Of course, <laughs> of course, you can, you can put butter and bacon and bacon fat on anything, and it's wow, this is delicious. This tree limb is better than I thought it would be. I wonder if Opal. I wonder if Opal likes bacon. Have you ever given Opal uh, a bacon strip? Because you do realize that dogs don't know it's not bacon. This is sad. That commercials stay in your head. Even though you cut off cable years and years ago. It wasn't what I expected. Jason takes off his muscles and hair. Oh my gosh. You can't take a muscle off, can you? 
first I gotta develop one, and then I'll try to take it off. It's called Skinny Pop. Who in the hell bought this? <laughs> What's Skinny Pop? I'm guessing you don't you don't have the kind of popcorn you wanted. Yes, I could eat some popcorn right now too. I I'm definitely doing it. I gave her real bacon. You could probably give that dog like a side of beef. Real bacon today that I got on a bit, but it was floppy, and I hate floppy bacon. <laughs> What's floppy bacon? You know, the rare times I get bacon, you know what I get? The kind that's already cooked. And you know what I do? I sit there in the car listening to music while I eat the, what is it? Some outrageously overpriced, like eight strips of already cooked bacon that's cold. There are better ways to prepare popcorn that won't kill you. Yes, true. <laughs> Popcorn's not going to kill me. I haven't had that much popcorn. What about movie popcorn, Susan? Everybody's had some movie popcorn. We're all doomed. And I can't imagine a theater doing anything for us. You need to Google the Super Bowl commercial for Jason Momoa. So funny. I will do that. On my BLT, I want crispy bacon, not floppy, soft bacon. But, <laughs> but you can cook it to the point that you want it, right? In a fry pan. Although, um, growing up, when you make your own, because, you know, you slaughtered a hog, I don't remember that getting quite as crispy. So maybe there's something... They're doing, I don't know. MSG isn't okay either. <laughs> Tell that to a thousand Chinese restaurants. They probably got rid of it. It can't be unseen. Okay, I gotta write that down so I remember to look. Even though he's not exactly my favorite actress, I mean actor... Momoa Super Bowl commercial. Soup Bowl. Soup Bowl. Com. I'm abbreviating. Microwave is particularly bad for you. It's easy to cook in it the old fashioned way. It's even easier in a microwave. I put it in the microwave, open the door, put it in the microwave, press the button, it says pop corn. And then first it cuts off because my microwave has issues. And then it sparks. And then I push the button again and then it starts up. Now I can't go into the restaurant and say move out of the way while I make the bacon <laughs> how I want it. <laughs> yes you can. I wonder if they've thought of that idea yet. They've tried everything else. They just have a restaurant with an open kitchen. You go in, you make your own stuff, you serve it to yourself, and then you pay for all that after. I bought pizzas that I had to cook. It's a brain toxin. Well, my brain is doomed then, because I've had all of these th things m many times in my umpteen years on this planet. It wasn't Burger King. I didn't get it my way. Do they even say that anymore for Booger King, as one of my sons used to call it, Booger King? Although Whoppers are pretty nice, even though I doubt there's any meat in there. Put bacon on a cookie sheet in the oven. Yes, I've seen that done before. It makes for great crispy bacon. Wow, you guys are really particular about your bacon. Now Jade is going to make BLTs tomorrow. <laughs> I can't have one. Well, I could. Let me think. Can't have the tea. Can have the bacon and the lettuce. Maybe a dab of mayo. But no tea. I nearly cried with what they did to him with laughter. He's so cool to spoof himself. <laughs> she's, st <laughs> she's, still <laughs> she's still lusting over there. Booger King. B-O-O-G-E-R. I haven't been there in a long time. I haven't been to McDonald's in a long time. I haven't been anywhere in a long time. Of course, we don't have many choices here. We have Taco Bell, which is questionable. 
It's like potted meat with spice in it, slapped on a whatever they are. I don't own a microwave. Mine's not much of a microwave. It, ne it never meets the ratings for any of the things I try to microwave in the past. Now I just have a microwave my peanut butter and a microwave popcorn. I have to cut open the bag or a contraption it comes in and pop on the stove. Use uncured bacon when po possible still. <laughs> Still talking about our food killing us. It's definitely killing us slowly. That's the good part about it. It's, it's a slow thing. The Impossible Whopper was actually really good. Hmm, what's the Impossible Whopper? Okay, here's a knock. Here's a little, here's some thoughts about fast food. Say you go through, say you're driving somewhere and you go through, I don't do this anymore, but say you do, you go through a drive-thru, which one should you pick? Taco Bell? No, because you can't keep driving and eat, <laughs> eat stuff from Taco Bell. Two, a Whopper? No, because you can't keep driving. It's all juicy and there's ketchup and mustard and mayo going every which direction. You can't do it. McDonald's? Yes, because it's kind of dry. Unless you get, what's that? I forget the one with that weird sauce. Their special sauce. I can't think of anything else, but most of the places you just can't keep driving and eating at the same time, if that's important to you, which it used to be. Now I just drive. Take a bottle of water and just drive. Hey, we're over. You sneaky people. You came up with topics about food to distract a person. I don't like when good-hearted people unknowingly poison themselves. Impossible Whopper is... <laughs> is he still going? It's a viroestrogen patty, not safe. Big Mac, yes. I think it is the Big Mac with that Thousand Island dressing. Is that what the special sauce is? It'll drop everywhere. But I like KFC fries. So you can eat their french fries... McDonald's french fries are kind of the top of the line for french fries, aren't they? I guess it depends on how you like your french fries. Yep, you can pop chicken nuggets. Or if if I recall, uh, every one of your kids wants a Happy Meal. You know why they want the Happy Meal? So they can eat like two french fries and hand it to me while they play with the toy. And they didn't even want the toy. They just want the box that has a toy in it. It's like a little Christmas drive through Thank you, clown. Also, I can eat a Mexican taco. No problem driving. Okay, maybe then you could do Taco Bell. Like a burrito. I don't know about a taco. That's crunch and it goes everywhere. I could see a su burrito supreme. Yeah, they had to have those toys. I don't know if I was missing something on TV that they were picking up on. But you have to dip your nuggets. <laughs> I'm ashamed I read that out loud. Yes, you must dip your nuggets in all the special dipping sauces that they offer. <laughs> you can eat donuts while you're driving. I don't eat donuts anymore, but you can eat donuts while you're driving. Trying to think of all the other things. Wendy's. Wendy's might work. They're kind of dry too, like McDonald's. Got to tap out. I have to leave for work at. Whoa, howdy. Well, thank you, D, for stopping by with the horse with the yellow ears, the wolf. Say hi to Opal and family. Are you going for two hours today? No, I'll stop soon. You open the sauce and put it in the cup holder. Everybody's got advice about how to drive and eat. It's a little hard to do peanut butter in a spoon, though. But I've done it. It's just, you know, questionable whether you want the highway patrol officer laughing himself to death as he pulls you over and gives you a ticket. So you're obviously driving under... 
That's not crunchy, is it, sir? Step out of the car. Please step out of the vehicle. Put the spoon down and step out of the vehicle. Don't make me say it again. And no, that's never happened to me, but I'm just think. Here we go. I'm going to say good night to everybody. I see the best time to do this is apparently at midnight. That's when they get going. So I can't tell you when the next one will be. It could be two minutes after this one. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um... You bet. I never had a cup holder in my car until today. I have my new car today. So how's it working, D? As opposed to DD? I think she left. She has to get up soon. Good night. This popcorn is awful. <laughs> we get a popcorn update. Well, as we've learned, it will hurt us. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for playing along. Wait, I'm reading my own thing. Hope to see you again. I'm adding extra stuff now. Enjoy. Oh boy. I can't I can't see the keyboard. I'm experiencing technical difficulties. Where's the candle at? Is that a candle? That's a candle. Is that a peace sign? That's a peace sign. Wow. If you go for another 50 minutes, you could have a day off. <laughs> no. No. It's one hour every day for 29 days. Good night, Chris of Sacred Keep. Good night, Yvette of the Witch of Willow Creek. Someday I'll say that properly. Good night, D of High Priestess Illumination, a.k.a. Cuz. Good night, Susan of the... <laughs> you're still telling me not to eat popcorn. Susan of the Entropy Apothecary. <laughs> I'm eating popcorn. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm in the old folks club. I'm geriatric. I'm allowed to eat whatever. And it's kind of odd that at this age, I start eating properly. So, it's not a case of too late or too late. It is tomorrow. Well, I mean, you know, technically tomorrow starts at 2 a.m. According to the Daylight Savings folk. So, here we go. I'm going to unpop you or depop you or whatever it's called after I type a space and a peace sign. Because I always get the last word. Put a note on your discussion page. <laughs> well, that would be that would be good of me, wouldn't it, D? That would give away when it's going to happen. But I can do that. I don't think anybody reads my discussion page, do they? You guys eat what you want, and I will weep for humanity. Thank you for the weeping. And I just eat popcorn, peanut butter, mozzarella balls. And an orange, which isn't an orange. It's a miniola or something. They can't even look them up anymore. They don't know what they are. Just buy it at 60 cents. Okay, whatever. I'm going to eat that. Thank you. So, here we go. I will do that, D, of High Priestess Illumination. If I remember. It would be thoughtful to let us. <laughs> well, that was part of the plan, was to be sneaky in the fat last five days. I can be sneaky. I don't think it's all that sneaky since, since it sends you a notification. At least on Google Chrome it does. I don't know about other places. Because I get a lot of them. This person's live. That person's live. This person's live. <laughs> She's reminding me to turn out the lights. 
blink. Here we go. Unpopping, depopping. Actual size, six people, five likes. Wow. This is just dropping like... Pfft. Some people just can't hang in there. Where's the button? Where's the button? There's the button. Here we go. So I say peace. Hope to see everybody next time, whenever that might be. Bam.